So uh, I'm doing a review on the Bosch laser leveler. Uh, the uh, says 800 feet with uh, accuracy of uh, 3 by 16 inch. The model number is GLR 800-20 HVK-RT self-leveling rotary laser kit. The original price of uh, this laser leveler is uh, between $700 and $800 but I was able to buy one refurbished uh, for uh, around 350 So the uh, leveler comes with a very nice sturdy bag and uh, it has a tripod to hold the unit on and has also uh, a scale that you use it to take your uh, levels When we, when you open the bag, you will see uh, the leveler, the Bush Professional Leveler. The bag also has the sensor with the sensor holder and also has a bracket that can be used, can be mounted on an area where you can try to level things inside the house. And it has also a protective glasses inside it and has this thing which is used to be able to detect the laser line if you are working in bright sunny conditions outside and it has also the uh, owner manual this is the battery compartment here You open this part and you have as it usually comes with it, you need to install them. The batteries are the one on the left side, the positive is here in the top, and the one on the right side, the positive is down. So just be careful uh, when you put the batteries. There are two D type batteries, the large size uh, batteries. The batteries in the compartment, you need to just lock, turn on this knob to hold it in place. The uh, sensor, the sensor also comes with uh, its batteries. I already put the battery so I'm going to so you left this part here and you see it's 9 volt battery you need to put this battery in So I'm screwing it back in place now. So now the sensor is attached to the holder and it's ready and had the battery and it's ready to go.
So this is a tripod that comes with it. Tripod. It looks very nice, very decent. There is a, a Velcro strap here. You remove it. Then after you remove the Velcro strap, you just extend the arms. Let us just try to extend one arm only now on the three sides three arms need to be secured and then try to make the the holder for the the holder for the uh, laser leveler as flat as possible we extend the legs and try to keep the the holder for the leveler as straight as possible this is a self leveling device so even if it's not horizontal all the way it will level itself now the this is the main unit uh, in order to turn it on you know there is a power button here this is a power button that you turn it on uh, when you turn it on it takes few seconds for it to level and then it will start to spin in circle then you can adjust the speed by pushing this button a number of times and every time it will give you a different speed if you are working only in a small area that you don't want the laser beam to circulate 360 degrees then you use this button this is button here is to check the battery all right so let us uh, try to mount it now and see how it works uh, one thing I want you to be aware of there is something here which appears to be loose actually it's not loose it gives you kind of leverage when you mount your unit so let us just try to put the unit here now and hold it so the unit will be screwed on the tripod Alright, so now the unit is screwed on the tripod and is sturdy, is stable in place. So what we are going to do is we'll turn on the power button. So I'm pushing now on the power button. So now it's self-leveling. It first gave me an indicator that the batteries are good. And then it blinked only once. And then now it's trying to get the uh, level now it's all leveled okay now the the laser uh, light is rotating 36 degrees as i told you you can change the speed by pushing on this button here So now it's spinning faster, now slower, now it's, it's spinning with the regular speed. Alright, so now I will turn it off until we get the other stuff ready. I will turn it off by pushing the power here. This is a sensor. So I will turn the sensor on by pushing on this button and usually try to keep it upright this the same way as you can see it here. So when the laser beam hits the area between these two lines it means that you are exactly in the same level. If it is higher then it gives you an arrow that you need to go down. If it's lower it gives you an arrow that you need to go up. Let us just turn the power on now. So now. So 
So now it is on. Now it is on. All right, you don't see any continuous light when it is on. The only way to tell that if it's on or not, when you turn on the laser leveler and put the sensor in the way of the laser beam. All right, so now we are going to get, I will turn the uh, leveler off for now, and then we'll get, we'll get our scale. This scale can extend, this can extend up to eight feet. So I just want to let you know how to make sure that you are having the exact same level. The sensor usually goes on top of the on top of the leveler and usually I try to be like close to an easy number so I can read it like for example I'm so now I am at four feet okay so we will turn the I will turn the leveler on So when you look here, if you look, you probably don't see this. There is an arrow is asking me. One thing that you need to know that uh, the, the sensor has to face the leveler. Uh, and if you start to turn it, side the way usually it doesn't read well you have to face it you see when I'm turning it this way then it will face it so when the blue light comes in in the middle this means that we are exactly in the same level so now the level is 11 and 3 quarter inch so each one each dash of these is one inch okay so now it's all leveled so for me, I want to make sure that I have everything leveled at the same height. So I will take this rod and then I will go back. So because I had it there on the rug, so it's not very accurate. For me, I need to lift this up. to keep the floor the exact same height then I need to raise the floor by like one inch so now if I raise the floor here by one inch I will be exactly at the same height when I had it there next to the unit itself so the way to make sure that you have everything at the same level is you need to raise the floor under the measuring stick or lower the floor under the measuring stick to get the exact same readings as if you are close to the unit itself. Uh, this unit can work for up to 800 feet during daylight, although it's difficult to see everything during the day. So you need to be careful. And also make sure that you are going to direct the sensor to the unit itself. You can't use it with an angle. Like now it's beeping. If I turn it with an angle just only less than 30 degrees, then it stops beeping. But if, it's, if you are close in the same direction of the unit, then it will start beeping. Uh, now there is another 
piece that comes with it, which is this here. This part, you can use these brackets to hang it like on a drop down ceiling and then you mount the unit here and then it will give you also the same level. Uh, I haven't actually tried this because I'm using it outside uh, to help to make sure everything is installed correctly. Uh, one very important thing, once you are done with your unit and you're not planning to use it, say, for a week or so, of course you turn it off and then remove the batteries from the unit and also from the receiver. The type of batteries has to be alkaline batteries. Uh, there is a storage compartment for the batteries that you can put the batteries in here. Now if you are working in an area and you want to make this area with a certain slope and you know exactly the pitch, say like you want the, you are working in an area and want, you want it to have a slope and this slope the drop will be half inch every foot. So uh, what you do is after what you do is after you get your level adjusted and then you need to drop by half foot by half sorry yeah drop by half foot every one foot. So you need to make a measurements like here this is the height okay after one foot I want the slope to drop by half foot so I use a measuring tape and I find exactly where is the next foot point and then I will put the measuring tape here and then I will lift the sensor by half foot and I make sure that the base of this measuring stick is down this half foot so it will be the same level of the unit and you can keep go doing this and you can adjust the slope if you want you want it to go up or go down uh, this also can be done